Hello guys, welcome to Insta Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at a solar wobble head. In fact, a solar wobble head without a proper head. This thing, as you can clearly see from all the dust and debris on top of it, is clearly lying in my attic. So it's also an, another attic find. So it, suppose it is that a baby right there? Ooh. Some flowers, and you can clearly see it is wobbling just from the light that is coming from the flash up here so it's the solar panel is that much sensitive even though it has a lot of dust on top of it it is sensitive so that it is generating power from the flashlight up here and you can clearly see that thing wobbling so let's take a look at what's inside this wobble head this solar wobble head and let's see if i can find anything interesting inside so uh, let's take a look I believe this I got this as a toy and I just left it because it, it lost it, its head and that's the reason why it may be just left on the attic obviously it says made in China right there it's holding with there is no switch or anything of course it does not need any because of the solar action so All the screws have come out and that's it. Basically that is what's inside of it. I mean if I focus on that, you can see is that a magnet? Yes, that is a magnet. See? That is a rare earth magnet right there. And there is nothing much inside. It uses that branded solar panel and because it's night outside and also because the light from the flash is not will not do any justice I can I'm not able to measure I just I really want to measure the voltage across it but right now it won't do any justice at all I mean it's dead simple all it has is a coil look at that coil right there if, if, I, if I focus on it let me adjust the exposure a little bit and if I focus on that see how tightly that is wound I wonder how they are actually doing that see I mean I try I personally try to wind some coils for some inductors and things like that and I know how crazy it is because if you lose track you can actually get over, over overlaps and things like that but this thing is perfect like it's probably it has to be machine wound see it's really beautiful I can just look at that all day long and it has only two wires coming out by the looks of it and that is going straight to that two terminals right there so probably all it does is it is converting the uh, voltage that is coming from the solar panel to some pulses that's the only thing I can guess Yes, there's a capacitor underneath. This, this is actually kept in place with the help of these plastic tabs. And there is nothing but a capacitor across it. So, and it looks like the capacitor is connected across. Yeah, that explains. So, the capacitor is connected across the solar panel. Basically, to store the energy. You know, the solar panel cannot always provide it. So, as a backup, it needs a tiny little capacitor right there. Can we read the rating of that? Probably not, but it's going to be a really low value faster. But that's entirely this entire chip right here is doing the pulsing thing. So what I can guess is it is creating a sort of pulses at a fixer intervals and that is interacting with the uh, magnet right here. Maybe it is also inverting pulses like if at one point if this pin is positive and that is negative is going to create north or south pole up here and then it may reverse it so that the other pole will come here so that the magnet can actually do the attraction and repulsion action so it looks like that and it looks like it has the option for something else oh no no maybe that's just for balancing out this thing right here probably that's the guess so it is really dead simple 
just a solar panel connected to probably a pulsating chip it cannot be a microcontroller anyway so it's going to be an analog chip that creates a lot of pulses and that pulses are being dri driven by this coil creates a magnetic field that interacts with the magnets and it repels it so that's basically so that's what's inside that's really simple right there so see it is wobbling right there see that only that much amount of light is needed for it to start wobbling jeez that's really good so yeah that's really interesting thing anyways and by the way this thing is also really cheap i mean you can buy this in the roadside and uh, for like 60 rupees that's like a dollar so yeah thanks for watching see you in another video ooh, 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 ooh. thanks for watching